Benny Burton's tremors from Parkinson's disease made holding a job impossible and greatly interfered with his social life. The life was very difficult. I couldn't go out to eat, couldn't take my wife to him. People were staring. Eating was the worst one. Picking up that spoon, driving food all over, drinking, driving in glasses. But after the surgical procedure known as deep brain stimulation, or DBS, Benny got his old life back. He calls it a miracle. And I went from this to this immediate. Something as simple as pouring a drink is no longer a problem, and those results are common. Deep brain stimulation is a remarkably effective therapy for symptoms of movement disorders. It can dramatically improve quality of life in patients with Parkinson's disease, essential tremor, and dystonia, and it has long-lasting effects. The surgery involves putting an electrode in the brain to modulate brain activity to reduce symptoms. For Parkinson's disease, for those patients who no longer respond to medication, the symptoms we try to reduce are those of tremor, rigidity, cramping, dystonia, and dyskinesia. Here's how the surgery works. First, a frame is placed over the head to stabilize it. Next, an MRI pinpoints the brain region where electrical nerve signals in the brain are misfiring. An electrode attached to a wire is inserted through a tiny opening in the skull and implanted in the trouble spot in the brain. After we place the electrode, we keep an enormous database of the impact that these electrodes have on patient outcome, the location of electrode, and its impact on outcome. And so over the years, we've been able to determine exactly the best location to provide the best outcome for targeted symptoms. And I believe in the country, we're the best institution for understanding what signs and symptoms in the operating room predict good outcome. The brain electrode is connected to a wire leading to a neurostimulator placed under the skin, just below the collarbone. The stimulator works like a pacemaker modulating the brain activity to suppress the tremor. The patient is awake during the surgery. It's very important to keep the patient awake so we can see the effects of our stimulation. The neurostimulator can be adjusted with a radio signal. Remarkably, patients go home the next day after surgery. One of the misconceptions they have is that it's experimental. It's not. It's, it's a well-documented procedure with low risk. It's a safe procedure. It's been performed in more than 70,000 people worldwide. We have one of the largest movement disorder centers, not only in the United States, but in the world. We have 12 movement disorders neurologists who all specialize in various aspects of movement disorders. Here at UAB Hospital, 80 to 100 DBS surgeries are done every year. Dr. Harrison Walker demonstrates how when the stimulator is turned off, the tremors return. And back on again, Benny's tremors are gone. Benny says he felt no pain during the surgery and is thrilled with the care he received at UAB. Open the hands wide as you can. Now open and close, big and fast as you can. Good. From the very beginning to the pre-op, to the actual operation itself, I feel loved, cared about, concerned that everything gonna be all right, Benny, and it was. Benny Burton credits the expert and compassionate care he received at UAB Hospital for giving him this new lease on life.